Hey guys, so I'm back from LA and VidCon and I'm back in England! Woohoo! Hello England! Hello! I'm scared. And I've been so sleepy all day until now, it is one in the morning and I am wide awake. And I was about to be like, yeah, finally getting into bed when bang, my brain has switched on, my eyes are wide open and I have more energy than a wildebeest in a wildebeest theme park. Maybe I'm just destined to be a wolf now. Yeah, this is all down to something called jet lag. So currently it is 5pm in LA and my brain is like, ooh, I could go out for dinner now or maybe go for a swim. But no, it's meant to be sleeping and it's just not happening. So I thought I'd share with you some facts about jet lag. Facts. Jet lag is medically referred to as desynchronosis. You cannot get jet lag from traveling north and south. It's all about east and west due to the movements of the sun. Facts. Symptoms involve sleep disturbance if traveling east. I traveled east. Poorer performance in mental tasks. Irritability, yes, everything is irritating. Indigestion. My toast is sitting okay right now. Changes in the consistency of feces. No comment. And reduced enjoyment of food. Yeah, that's never gonna be a problem for me. Ooh, jet lag was once called boat lag before jets existed, though now it's more extreme as traveling is much quicker. Facts. Cures. Apparently the biggest cure for jet lag is to absorb as much light as possible. Okay. Okay, this is the brightest light we have. It's pretty intense. Three, two, one. Ah! It burns! It burns! This is just making me feel more awake. I'm kind of blind. Other well, less believed cures involve milk. Only true men drink their milk out of a wine glass. Sophisticated. Yeah, I'm still awake. Sleeping upside down. Nope, ow, ow. Exercise, going outside. Yeah, I think, I think I'd just rather stay jet lagged actually. It's fine, I'll be fine. Plot twist, this is a book about beetles. Don't trust everything you see on the internet. VidCon. My name is Phil and my passion is pancakes. VidCon was cool and also pretty insane at times. I think the craziest moment for me was this. <laughs> Glozell has a special place in my heart. And me and Dan also met about a thousand of you, which was so cool and you were all really nice. So here is a little montage of you guys. I spent way too long making that. We also got some cool swag from you guys. One of my favorites is this mask. <laughs> because it's so terrifying. Look at the eyes. Oh, masks freak me out so much. Also, I got this Growlithe, which is awesome. And finally, I think this is the coolest one. Uh, Caitlin, Eden, and Zoe got me and Dan our own monkey. They adopted as a monkey. I mean, how cool is that? I was thinking of either naming it Mukachu or Alphonse. I will decide this evening. Another thing you may have noticed is current crotch in the camera, sorry. It is currently Geek Week on YouTube, and I was lucky enough to get involved with three different video projects. The first was an epic Star Trek versus Star Wars battle. <laughs> the second video is a reimagining of 80s TV show Nightmare, where I got to be a contestant. Uh, check out my acting skills. And what do you lot think you're doing here? We're here for an adventure. We're here for an adventure. And finally, I got to be in a quiz show hosted by Crabsticks dressed as Pikachu. I've made it so if you click these, they will open in separate tabs, so you can click them now, and then you can watch them at your leisure after this video finishes. Go! Fly, my pretties! Today's Straw Fill Naked is... And I will see you very foon. Foon. <laughs> and I will see you very soon. That is, if I ever fall asleep. Bye! So I thought I'd use this time to share with you some facts about... Are you kidding?